Okay, so what's up guys, it's Blue. This is going to be the first episode of a series that I'm going to call Getting Better. And so what this series will be is basically I'm going to set a goal for myself. Then we're going to rewatch the replay and um, see if I accomplish that goal and what I could have done and try and see what I could have done to better accomplish that goal better. Blah words to basically what I could have done to um, accomplish the goal if I missed it or to do better in the game so that's what this series is gonna be about um so yeah so let's get right into it I am Tristana Leona Botlane with a Lucian with a Lucian Brom with Lucian Brom against me so <clears throat> basically I don't really want to fight in this lane because Lucian can bully me out, but at the same time, I do have Leona, so that's going to be the big thing. Ah, I'm tired, but that's going to be the big thing, so I don't really want to fight this lane, but basically, this game's goal is to not die in lane and to get 70 CS by 10 minutes. That's this game's goal. And so we're going to have to see if we accomplish that goal. I'm not exactly sure, but we're going to see. And so, so, so I start going back, flopping around. I too flop around. Also, this was played on the 5.17 patch, so just bear that in mind, there's going to be some minor changes to champions with 5.18, but yeah. So we have Leona, and so she's going to take, she's going to take one, and she's going to take two, and so then I'm just going to sit here and farm it out. So, I always have a little bit of trouble last hitting with Tristana, and that's actually not towards her E, it's because her auto attack animation, not her auto attack and I always think that I have the creep with her, but then I actually don't, like that, I do that twice, <laughs> right there, so, let's see, Leona takes a little bit of damage, but we trade in onto Braum to get him relatively low, like, this lane, Braum Lucian lane is really, really strong, just because Lucian can get the double proc. And right there, like, you know, it just goes in, and then she gets stunned. And I'm going to get stunned here, too. And then I'm going to have to pop heal, and then Lucian's going to pop heal and ghost. And then we just back off. So we got both summoners out of Lucian for only, like, two out of us, and we didn't use our mobility summoners. So that trade was kind of okay, but at the same time though, Braum is such high health that we really have to respect his poke, because if I get poked down, or if he, or if I get stunned, I'm dead. So I don't want to get hit by any Qs, and I really want to stay away from Braum and Lucian right now, because they can stun me so easily. As a, as a duo, they can, they can really hurt. So, as you can see, I'm missing a little bit of CS because I'm not that good. And I'm not that good with CSing with Tristana. Her new auto attack animation seems really wonky and it feels weird, but it's okay. That's the point of this. We're getting better at the game. We're getting better at the game as a whole. My CSing needs to work on, so that's why I set this goal for this. My need to work on my CSing. That's why I set this goal for myself today. For this game, at least. So I'm just going to be CSing in lane, watching the map. Nothing eventful really terribly happens, but I do want to just show the whole laning phase and how this works. Is I do want to do a full game. I do want to do full game commentaries, and yeah, stuff like that. So I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna miss the CS right here, which is really gonna suck. I'm gonna get that one. I'm gonna miss another one. But then, so Braum just kind of walks right up. And that's that's really sucky because Braum just takes a fuckload of damage and like almost none of it gets returned. So that was really poor positioning by Braum. 
because he was standing like right up next to our minion wave where I could just get autos off of him off on him for free and it's like alright alright so yeah we don't got the cannon always wanna like let me get let your support get the cannon if they have targons if they don't have this uh... if they don't have targons that's like a different story completely also i just stand there and let myself get hit by illusion mining so that was bad on my part so alright so we're gonna queue this Tristana if you don't know has fucking fantastic wave clear because um what is it the damage from her explosive shot active and passive if you kill a minion both like they stack on top of each other so you're able to just clear a wave stupidly fast so yeah see Lucian that's just two procs now I can't get see I get hit by another auto and then I take a fuckload of damage but it's okay because what is it we get this I flash for that and then I then I um then I jump on him. So I could I didn't need to use flash there. I could have jumped autoed, but here I just jumped too soon. But it's fine though because Leo is like kind of getting him off me. So we pick up two kills there, and I didn't have to flash there in hindsight. Looking back at it, I could have just jumped on to Lucian, got the kill, and then jumped on to Brom. But I don't know. I was going for the flashy plays. See, boom. This wipes him out. It's freaking great wave clear, but that gets me BF sword and boots, I believe. Yeah, yeah, that gets me BF and boots. I wasn't sure if I bought like anything else on there or if I went for like a long sword or something like that. No, it just gets me BF and boots. So, giving Darius some moral support in the chat there. Like, he's 0 and 2 against Teemo, which like I'm not surprised because like, even with the rework, Darius still can't fucking deal with Teemo. I mean, honestly, most of the Juggernauts, except for like let's say Skarner, really can't because it's like. Team will just blind you whenever you go in on him, and then like he can just kite you into fucking oblivion. So, so we got BF sword. So we're at 40 at seven minutes. So I'm a little bit pinched for time, but at the same time, it'll be okay. So Leona's going hard on this. So I should just be pushing the wave right now because this isn't gonna land and net us anything at all. We know shit. Leona goes in on yeah, but doesn't really land us anything so I should have just pushing this wave down because I would have lost I lost I lose CS doing this yeah I lost three um I lost three melee minions trying to fight that right there which I mean to be fair I mean I prob I mean it was a good it was a good thing that I went down but at the same time yeah I tried to go for style points and just outright kill him with that but it didn't work which made me sad but now I don't have a lot of mana and one thing that you need to do as an AD carry player or honestly just when you're playing any lane this is what I think that you should do like some people may be like well I don't know maybe you shouldn't but what is it I set a mana cap for myself and what that means is, like, I can't drop under that level of mana. Like, I just do right there. And I do, I make that mistake often, but it's like, I can't drop under that level of mana. Because if I, because it's like, that's usually what I put my escape as. So, like, if I'm playing Ezreal, I can't drop below 90 mana. I, I try not to drop below 90 mana. If I'm playing Caitlyn, I try not to drop below 75, Tristana 60. Uh, Corky 100, um, Lucian is 40, Lucian's got a really low one. But, that's the thing, is that I don't want to drop below that level of mana, otherwise I'll wind up dying. Like, I won't have an escape, I'll have to flash, if you don't have flash, this is especially important. But here we get the kill on the Braum. Yeah. 
Good shit by Leona. Leona's doing real good. Now, we want to set up a dive here, but, I mean, Lucian... Lucian's Lucian. But instead of diving, we go for Dragon, which I think is the better option. I really don't... I'm not a big fan of tower diving, because... Like I'm in I'm in I'm not in the highest elo, I'm in like silver five, I'm in like low to mid silver. And so that's obviously not a very high elo. But I really don't like tower diving. And the reason why I don't like to tower dive is because I mean, I'll probably have even if I was challenger I'd probably think this way, but I mean whenever there's tower dives, yeah, Lucian just uses Ghost and Dash. He's gonna get out of this just fine. No need to worry about it, but whenever you tower dive on and like solo queue, everyone is just so like unorganized. And yeah, I didn't meet my goal of sixty-eight of um of uh seventy CS at ten minutes. I get it at eleven. I mean, it's not terrible. I'd say that it's still a failure though on my part because I really did want to meet that cap. Like that was that was my goal, but. Then it didn't happen, but it's alright though. It's okay, we got it. We got three kills along the way, so it's not like the lane is lost. It's just that I was really close to CSing perfectly that whole... Not perfectly, but I was really close to getting that um 70 CS at 10 minutes, which is about... What is it? Which is about, I don't know, 9 to 10 minions per minute, which is almost ideal for an AD carry. They really need to fix that animations bug where, like, the ghost animation is still going. Because, like, Lucian still looks like he's fucking Sonic right now, but... Wait, tag him with an auto. I have enough for, uh... For Picky Butt right now. And also, Lucian is rushing attack speed. Lucian does, like, no damage to me right now. And I don't need to be... I was respecting him a little bit, probably because I just have an innate respect for Lucian, just because of how stupid he can be in lane. But if your Lucian's building attack speed, don't respect his lo don't respect him. Just just fucking harass him as much as you can. Because if Lucian's building attack speed, I mean for Braum with the Braum lane, it's a little different. Let's say he's matched up with like I don't know Nami or Sona, like Thresh, like Thresh even if you can dodge hooks properly. Like don't fucking worry about what is it? Yeah, we got out of that problem. I'm gonna die here though. Yeah, I'm gonna die here. Because I want to go back on Braum, but Karthus just does so much damage. Yeah. I know, I don't know. I die, I know I die to Karthus sometime soon. But, basically, if Lucian's rushing attack speed, he can't do fucking damage to you except with his ult. Like, his ult is literally the only thing that does damage, and his ult is already really wonky. So now I, I Goomba Stomp in. This is, like, the worst mistake I could have made, is I Goomba Stomp in, and then I die. So, that's that was my fault, and I lost, and I didn't accomplish the goal that I wanted to accomplish, which is to die, which is to not die in lane either, which really sucks, because... The laning phase to me is when one of the towers goes down. That's when laning is officially over in my mind and that's when like not even team fighting, like the more roaming around trying to make plays across the map shit starts. So that's the thing is I die I die in lane which really sucks cuz I didn't want to do that, but it is what it is. It's okay though cuz Velkaz is like kicking Karthus's ass. But, and then we're kicking bot lane's ass, but what I was, I was talking about it something a few minutes ago. Yeah, Lucian. Lucian's rushing Static Shiv up up there. He's he's totally rushing Static Shiv, and that's just silly to me. I don't understand why he's rushing Static Shiv. All I know is that Karthus hurts really, really bad, but, and I walked into two of his Qs when I should have been dodging better, but I was focusing more on Lucian than I was on Karthus, which was my fault. But basically, yeah. And then I walk into a queue because I'm a fucking idiot. Because I forgot that... Yeah, see, I'm a fucking idiot because I forgot that, um... I forgot that... <laughs> 
I forgot, like, the most critical thing about Karthus that you always have to fucking remember when you're playing against him is that he can do damage while he's dead. Which is... It's not silly. I don't think that's, like, overpowered. It's just something that you have to really keep in mind because if you don't keep it in mind, shit like that happens, and then you walk into, like, two Karthus cues before you realize that he can deal damage to you when you're dead. So, when he's dead. So, that was big misplay on my part. I died for it again. Threw my lead a little bit. I still have a big lead over Lucian, but at the same time, it's not... It's not okay that I've died twice now to Karthus. Because that is 600... That's about 600 gold-ish to Karthus. And Karthus scales really well, so it's not okay that I died twice to him. But, getting back to this game... Um, no, Lucian, attack speed Lucian doesn't do damage aside from his ultimate, that's what I was trying to say, is that you don't have to worry, you don't have to worry about being bullied out by attack speed fucking Lucian. It's, it's not useless, I mean, it'll still do some damage, but at the same time though, it's like, pray to the crit gods that you, that you're, that you were something, cause that's, that's what you're doing right there. If you play Lucian, go Infinity Edge first. Please don't, please don't rush attack speed. Yeah, and then he just fucking misses CS. Oh, oh, this Lucian. All right, I can't be salty about Lucian though. I can't like think that Lucian's bad because if you think that your team, that your the enemy team's bad, you start doing stupid shit. Like, you start thinking, like, oh, they're bad, they won't capitalize on this mistake, and then out of nowhere they capitalize on it, and you're like, oh, fuck. So, but I have completed Infinity Edge against Lucian, but now Leona's really low, so if Leona gets stunned, she might die, but I don't know. I really want to go aggressive on this Lucian, but Braum's there, and Braum... Problem's kind of a little bit difficult to work around, so... If Leona gets a stun, though, then I can go aggressive on either and just fuck them both up. So... Yeah, like, Lucian here. Lucian here just fucking dies. I, I want to get the extra auto off just to be sure. When I flash over this way... I tried to get the kill on him. I wanted to try and get, um... Oh, and here, this is another mistake that I make. I play with fire a lot as an AD carry. And what I mean by playing with by playing with fire is that I'll, like, do shit like this, and then I'll have to waste flash. Because I want to get, like, another auto in on, like, one person. And then they just dash in on me, and I'm like, oh, fuck. And then here, again, I just, sh I should go back. I shouldn't be here trying to get CS against Trindamir when Trindamir can tower dive me. It's... I mean, sure, I'm, like, respecting him a little bit, because I'm not going in with my cooldowns down, but at the same time, I have to jump away again, and then I just lose CS, where if I would've went back, I would've lost CS anyway, but I would've come back with a full health bar and not fucking died here like a, like a goddamn idiot. So, you're like, yeah, I burn heal. I wasted both summoners for no reason whatsoever. Like, that was really bad on my part. I mean, sure, we get the return kill, but at the same time, though is 150 gold really worth me burning both of my summoner spells and my like okay my ultimate was like reasonable though cuz like that was okay but at the same time it's like that was so dumb of me trying to think that I could harass a Trindamir when I'm a fucking AD carry cuz like Trindamir will get on top of you and then just start hitting your face and like, sure, Tristana can jump away, and it's really hard to get onto Tristana. But at the same time, though, he can still get onto you and force you to burn both your summoners. So, that was really, really, really bad on my part. But they get the kill over onto Karthus, though, which is good. So they like, return a kill for my death, but still, I shouldn't have... And here, I start roaming towards mid lane, which is okay, but at the same time, though, I should have pushed out bot before I did that, because they're fighting, they're not getting any objectives, they're not pushing out that wave. So, I should have cleared out bot lane, gotten that wave, maybe even gotten the tower out of it, and then started roaming mid lane. So that's what I think I should have done. I mean, it could be different, but, yeah. So, 
basically I burned both my both my summoners <laughs> for no fucking reason. I'm stupid. But we're gonna get this tower though. Bot lane's pushing in, so we're probably just gonna rotate and grab that. I go in on Lucian, trying to get try and go for greedy shit, but then I think yeah, I think Tridomir. No, it's uh Karthus is coming by. But I got the kill on the Brom though. No, I don't get the kill on the Brom. I'm trying to go for yeah, so I don't have to I don't have to burn any summoners or die here. I could have turned on Lucian there, but I was too focused on escaping. And then here I be an asshole and I fucking back. When no one's fucking goddamn around. And then Carthusol comes by and fucks my fucks me up, but it's like just back anyway. Like I'm standing right on their vision because I'm a fucking asshole being like, hey, look at me, I'm Mr. Meeseeks. For any of you who get that reference, I'm proud of you. So, we go back, we get the tower, we go back, but wasn't well, able to get a kill on Braum, which is sad. <sighs> Dumbass mistakes by me. So then Darius teleports in. His teleport gets cancelled by a turret getting destroyed, but... What is it? We got the kill on the Teemo. Teemo... Teemo dies. Here, yeah, there it is. And then I want to keep pushing, but I don't have red buff. Shivana does, and I mean, if I had red buff there, I would have for sure kept pushing them. But now here, here, Karthus starts fucking with me day. Starts fucking with my day, and he hits me twice, so I have to back off. Because if he hits me one more time, yeah, and then here, here's Trindamir, so then I die again. Because I try and go back in when I should have just backed. Because I didn't know where Trindamir is, and I should have been like, oh, fuck. I don't know where Trindamir is. Even if he was on the minimap, I wasn't actually looking at my minimap at the time. So I would have been like, oh, fuck. I don't know where Trindamir is. I should just back off. But I didn't think of that. I instead go. I instead just died to Trindamir. Which is sucky. It really sucks. Because that's how the cookie crumbles. But I know for a fact that I don't die another time this game. Which is good. Which is really good that I don't die another time. So they're trying to go in. I tried to be try to get dragon. So the spot lane turret I believe goes down. I'm not sure though. I don't think it does. I can't exactly remember. Yeah, it goes down. That's gonna go down for sure. It doesn't matter what the fuck we do. That bot lane turret's gonna go down. No, it's not gonna go down. Cause we have a cannon wind. Cause we have a cannon wave. So never mind. It doesn't go down. I thought it would. I don't remember all the details of this game, but so this turret goes down, and then I throw I throw on the uh, throw on the Q, start shoving the wave out. Tristana is really good at applying pressure in lanes. Like, it sounds... I know that's, like, kind of what she's built to do as a champion, but at the same time, she's very, very good at just applying a lot of pressure. And then, then and then, oh, God, this is, like, the dream. This is the Tristana dream right here. This is, like, reset goddamn city. Because, like, it only gets a kill, but then I just start... F I fuck over... I fuck over Karthus... Get the heal, because I wasn't sure if I wanted to... I wasn't sure if uh, Leo would die there, because I didn't know how much how much Karthus ult did. So I just do the heal to be cautious. I probably didn't need to, because she probably just could have popped W and been absolutely, f and been absolutely fine. Yeah, she would have been fine there. She has so much fucking health. So... What is it? So now, they make a call for Dragon... I wasn't able to get anything right there. I was going to be like, reset city, but I only get one kill out of it, which kind of sucks. Everyone else gets out, but... So then we throw on... So then we start pushing for dragon. We've only got two dragons at this point, so three dragons will be really nice, because then we'll just be able to shove turrets like a... No! We're not... Okay, no, they get it. So I go in on Lucian instead of going on Trinomir, because... And then I jump out. I didn't need to flash there. I think that's like my big problem is that I use my summoners when I don't need to. So, actually, I might have needed to flash there because there is a small delay on um on rocket jump where a trend could have like crit me or some shit like that. So, I mean, I guess flashing is a good idea. 
<laughs> well, I undo all my purchases because I'm a fucking pleb. Yeah, and then I just pick up, uh... And then I pick up Vamp Scepter because la you don't really need Last Whisper at this point. Because, like, the only one who really is going to be hard to rip through is Braum. And, but, like, Karthus has a little bit of armor. So... Like, he's only going to take, like, maybe... He's going to take, like, a fair bit less damage from me. But at the same time... At the same time, though... Um... Even, like... So, if you have, like, 80 armor... Crits are still going to fucking hurt you. Because that's about how much armor Karthus has, I would estimate. If he's got... Because, like, he's got, like, 30 from... He's got well, not thirty. He's got like I don't know. So he's got he's got a little bit over a hundred armor, but at the same time, basically, what I'm trying to say is that his armor isn't the most important thing because it's not like I deal no damage to him. Like here, look at this. I go over to Karthus. I still do substantial damage to him. Yeah. There you go. And I just jump out. So, since I do do substantial damage to him, then I don't really have to worry. And then Lucian, Lucian makes the grand mistake of just fucking up royally. He uses Ghost. Oh, never mind. Velkaz gets in on him. So I'm just going to lifesteal through this because I don't really want to die. So I just lifesteal through the whole thing. And then... I'm, so now I'm wondering whether to go Blade of the Ruin King or Bloodthirster, and so I choose to go the Blade of the Ruin King route, and the reason why is because I have a Trindomir, and even though Trindomir hasn't made that big of an impact to this game, Trindomir is still scary, and he still has a lot of attack speed, and... I want to be able to get him off of me because as you saw a couple other times if I don't have summoners it's really hard for me to it's really hard for me to get him off me because my uh cuz my escape cooldown is so long and unless I get a kill or or an assist during that time I'm going to die. So I pick up Blade of the Ruin King to give myself a little bit of just extra peel for myself to keep myself alive since I'm since I have a Leona I'm and I have a Leona and a Shivana and a Darius as my frontline, and yeah, they're a good frontline protection because people focus on them and don't really focus on you because Darius is a big damage threat and so is Shivana and then Leona's just Leona forces you to fight her. <sighs> so, but basically, but if Trinomir does get onto me, I have no peel whatsoever for my team. Aside from maybe Velkaz, but Trinomir doesn't really give a shit about Velkaz because he'll just kill him too. So, like running into five people like that, that was really stupid from Trinomir because it's like, oh, alright. Also, Darius just gets a triple, so he gets redeemed for like feeding so hard early game. But, that's going to be the game, you guys, so... Um, to kind of finish up... Yeah, so that's the game. Um...